As you approach the truck, make a general visual inspection of the truck face for any damage or missing components, visually checking both sides and the top for any obstructions which could cause damage on departure. Also check underneath the truck for any obstructions, damaged components, or any fluid leakage that would be a cause for concern. Some of the items that you will want to inspect will be the integrity of the frame and the exhaust system looking for any loose clamps or holes that will cause leaks. Locate the tire chocks and lock one of the tires in place before physically touching anything on the truck. Now enter the tractor cab and ensure that both parking brakes are engaged, one for the tractor and one for the trailer if applicable. Now perform a visual sweep of the front end of the truck. Check the integrity of the mirrors, lights, the grill, bumper, license plate, etc. Unlatch both sides of the hood and open it up to expose the engine components. Now check all of the components under the hood. Look for excessive fluid leakage. Check fluid levels and check the integrity of all components under the hood. Check the wires and belts and look for any excessive wear, cracks, abrasions or fraying, taking note of any issues that would be a cause for concern. Work your way from top down into the brake system of the first wheel, checking leaf springs, suspension and other components. Starting from the inside of the first tire, check the back wall, the tread depth and its integrity. Check the front wall and check all the lug nuts and bolts, ensuring that all are fastened tightly. Check the driver's side windshield wiper to make sure it's secure and inspect the windshield to make sure there are no cracks. Check the side view mirror, reflectors, door latch, side markers, steps, and gas tank cap, ensuring that all are fastened securely and without damage. Now access the battery compartment. Check for any excessive dirt buildup or corrosion, wire fraying, or loose connections. Check all the connections between the tractor and the trailer, making sure that everything is securely fastened. Check the integrity of all cables, glad hands, and step boards. And make sure there are no obstructions underneath on either side, so that nothing will become loose mid-trip. Inspect the dual tire configuration with a full tire inspection process and assure that there are no obstructions in between the tires. Ensure that the lug nuts are tightly fastened and that there are no leaks from the hub. Check the treads for any cracks or uneven wear. And finally, check the mud flaps to ensure they're securely fastened. Check the integrity of the trailer's landing gear, making sure that they are aligned properly and secure. Inspect the lines under the trailer, side markers and reflectors. Check the remainder of the tires, the lug nuts, the hubs, the mud flaps and any remaining markers or reflectors. At the rear of the trailer, inspect the reflectors, markers, trailer lights, the doors, hinges and latches. And lastly, check the protector bar and check the trailer's axle assemblies. Once you have repeated the entire inspection process on the passenger side of the trailer and truck, replace the hood back to its original position and lock it securely into place.
Now use GeoTab Drive to record your observations and notes of your DVIR. Now enter the truck to begin your in-cab inspection. Once inside the cab, check all of the major components, your windshield wipers, turn signals, high beams and low beams, check the windshield for any cracks or obstructions, check the horn, check the gauges to make sure they're working properly, and check all of the auxiliary settings and the switches which could impact your vehicle performance. Once all of the interior cab components have been checked and verified in good working order, you can now begin a full air brake inspection. And after completing a full air brake inspection, buckle up your seatbelt securely, complete your DVIR on GeoTab Drive, and start your engine.